Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we were playing with the six horsepower Fairbanks Morris that is a throttle governed engine that we will change to a hit and miss. But before we do that, I'm gonna play with my hit and miss. <laughs> Be free! Oh. Here's my 1920s two horsepower headless wit. To my understanding, this is in all original condition. It has not been gone through, and from what we feel, it really hasn't been ran that much. What's interesting about these is that anyone you ever see at a show has the carburetor and the exhaust and the spark plug, but they're missing the water injection system. Mine actually has it. It's very, very, very rare to find a wit with water injection still working on it. The water injection attaches straight to the front of the carburetor. I originally thought the water injection was for when this thing ran on kerosene to help control the explosions, but honestly, now I'm not quite sure what it was for, but I know mine has it. And I know it's rare, so there's that. When I got the motor, it was freed up. The only thing it was really missing was the timing system on it or the trip for the buzz coil. And what was funny is that I did a lot of reading to figure out how the trips were set up and made. And in the end, I ended up just looking at the motor for about 45 minutes and determining that where this rod is right back here, it lined up really close to the cam. So I figured you put a block of wood to act as an insulator and then get a piece of spring steel. In this case, I'm using a pull start spring and that's what grounds the system that causes the buzz coil to trip to send spark to the spark plug. And what makes this really, really cool is the fact that now you have a variable timing system on a 1920s engine. You can run it before or after top dead center. Run it after top dead center to make it easier to crank. Run it before top dead center to get more power. And everyone likes power. A couple things that I have to do to this thing is I need to make a cart for it and Part of the cart will have a gas tank mount. Right now my gas tank mount is gravity powered and because it's gravity powered with no float ball, we have to scoop, we have to put it on a stool so we can adjust the height. That way we don't flood it or starve it of fuel. Makes it a little bit more tricky to run, but I'm getting there. Takes a little bit of time. Hopefully we'll get there sooner than later. This is my throttle. Screw it out to make it go slower. Spin it in to make it go faster. I always get it backwards. With our governor, it's just a simple sling weight setup. I am running currently one spring. From the factory they ran two, but I'm not making this thing do work, so I just need one spring to make it run nice and slow. The latch out mechanism was not installed. We had to go and put all that on, which took a little bit of doing, but it wasn't too hard. So we got all that working. Let's get started wiring it up and then cold start it.
We've got it warmed up, you've seen it run. I'm going to go ahead and just restart it real quick and show you how easy this thing cranks up. She runs like a champ. Oh. That was easy. This thing has a lot of compression. <laughs> that tank might have started though, no. Spark plug wires off. <laughs> Gotta have your plug wire to make it fire. Well. That's what happens when you mess with something good. You kill it. All right, so future plans for this motor is I've got to build a cart for it because Trying to get it around on a floor dolly doesn't work well. The other things we're gonna do is we're gonna build a check ball for the gas tank because the one that I currently have is really, really bad at its job. It's fired. We're going to pull the motor apart. I'm going to do a really, really nice paint job on it where we're gonna bondo the sides and make it all better than factory. Other than that, I'm just gonna run it. I might build a pulley for it later so we can put it on things, but until then, they're all staring at me and I can't talk to the little box. Anyways, that is all I, I saw that. Uh, I'm gonna have like a giant blooper reel of just crap of me not being able to talk and not knowing my words. I swear I graduated middle school. Anyway, that is all we've got for today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel. And that's all, folks. He's giving me bunny ears, isn't he? Later!